Today we're looking at the TPS RX90 and TPS TX90 uh, from Lightwear. Jason, what do you think of this device? Well, you know, pretty straightforward. You run HDMI into it, it spits out Cat 6, I think they're recommending, Cat 6 or Cat 7, uh, at yeah. the other end. And how do you find it does the job? Well, I, I in the interests of, of you know, pushing the boundaries of what's actually possible with mm. a device, I um I punched it through 100 meters of Cat 5 with a couple oh, okay. of joiners in line just to see you know how mm. how fault resistant it is and it was fine it worked right um, I really like the fact that you can put the power in on the transmitter or the receiver That's oh you only need it at one end you only need power oh, okay. at one end and uh, as you can see we've just got one Cat 5 cable and both devices. Mm -hmm are in fact powered. Mm. Now, it does do some things other than HDMI. It also mm. does IR, bi-directional, right. and it does RS-232, and there's an Ethernet port as well. So okay. it's, it's quite a good solution. If you, for instance, got um, a, a bunch of installed screens with mm. RS-232 control, and you need to control them from a central processor rather than mm. run you know, component cables and HDMI extenders and mm. IR and all that sort mm. of guff. Mm. You know, that's, that's five or six cables. Mm. You can get away with running one Cat6 cable yep. and punch obviously your video feed as well as all your control signals down the one cable. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, look, the IR interface is a great idea too. I hadn't actually seen that run back down through Cat5, but in a, say, a boardroom install or something like that, you know, you have the control there, very simple control, IR, everybody understands it. Bang, press play, press go, whatever it is, and it just yeah, comes well straight that, down. Yeah, that's it. a great point too, actually. Mm. You can stick a little IR receiver underneath yep. your screen and then relay the commands from that and back to your sources mm. in a remote rack. And I think anywhere where you've got sort of a distributed video system as well, because mm. people are, are becoming more more green and more uh, mm. ecologically aware of things like excess power consumption. Mm. If you've got a, a system whereby you can remotely shut down your screens when the venue's not occupied, mm. that's a big win too. Absolutely.